You didn't need to grow up in the 90s to appreciate the peek behind the curtain that a transparent phone case will get you. But until recently, you did need a lot of do-it-yourself patience to make your mobile phone transparent. Or you had to know a guy. Thanks again for modding my Pixel 2, Zach. But in the otherwise relentless dumpster fire that is the year 2020, there is one bright point. Some manufacturers are actually having fun with their smartphone hardware again. Earlier in the year, Nubia unveiled its Red Magic 5G gaming phone, which I photographed for the Instagram channel because it sported the most striking paint job I've seen in a long time. And today, that same phone is back in the studio with a new piece of hardware hiding beneath the surface, a cloaking device. The Red Magic 5G isn't the first see-through Android phone. The HTC U12 Plus from 2018 had a translucent cover, and Xiaomi has shipped several Mi series devices that claim to give you a gander under the hood. I say claim because that processor under the Mi 8's backplate? Tell him, Senator Vrenak. It's a fake. Yeah, to take it back to Jerry Rig everything, there's nothing sincere about this so-called silicon, no actual sizzle to these circuits. And the same is true of the Red Magic. While this is the approximate size of Qualcomm's Snapdragon 865 system on a chip, it's just a fake plastic cover with some silk-screened branding. And the same goes for the rest of the components Nubia wanted to showcase. And the low-band 5G modem, the Wi-Fi 6 radio, the display controller with its high refresh rate. Of course, none of those are as hyped as the Red Magic's gaming focus, which explains its Halo feature, a built-in fan, meant to keep the phone cool even under brutal graphics processing punishment. Now, I've read some reporting saying that even this is a dummy, but thankfully, all it takes is a flip of this switch to prove otherwise. Yep, it's a real fan, pulling real air from the intake port on the left side, across a metal heatsink, and pushing it, now slightly warmer, out the right side. You can just barely feel it on your skin, but it is working. Now, is it truly useful? Well, to be transparent, the last time I had a phone threaten to overheat on me, it was like 2017, and it was because I was shooting a ton of 4K video, not because I was playing a game for too long. And I think it's pretty clear, based on the testing done by MKBHD, that this camera isn't one you'd want to use for pretty much anything. Anyway, you can't use the fan in anything but the game mode, at least not officially. So yeah, while this is a novel cooling system, it's unclear whether it's truly necessary. By the way, you'll notice I don't call this video a review, and that's because I can't properly review it. It's not made for the US market at all, so you get all the various strange behaviors and feature shortfalls you always do with an import device. But more importantly, folks, this software is just atrocious. The sheer number of typos, grammatical errors, and just bizarre design decisions stands in direct contrast to the care so obviously put into the hardware design. From the initial setup right through to everyday use, it's pretty obvious the export version of this software was well, not as big a priority for Nubia. The company does say its product team is aware of the issues, though, and is working to fix them. For its intended purpose of gaming, this phone packs pretty much everything I could ask for. I'm a sucker for shoulder buttons, which come in handy in so many games once you get used to them. Beyond that, the display refresh rate and size, the curved back that makes the phone sit perfectly in the hand, that huge battery. I mean, I love almost everything about the hardware. Yep, right down to the, hey, look at me, light up logo on the back and the deliberately over the top paint job. Gaming phones aren't meant to be subtle. Coming back to that fan one last time though, I do hope the production versions do two things. Retain the painted on spiral that makes me think of a turbofan engine from a jetliner and maybe tighten up the clean room procedures because there are a couple specs of whatever inside my review unit. Would I carry it? No. It's not my speed, and the kind of games I go for tend to be desktop classics from the late 90s, not mobile standards of the 2020s. But here's the thing. In an increasingly homogenized smartphone world, gaming phones provide some of the only relief available from the endless onslaught of constant colorless cuboids. So when a company like Nubia really pulls out the stops to make something unique, and in my opinion, quite striking, well, it fills me with hope that a manufacturer I would buy from will take a cue from that get a little more bold with their own product designs. And if Nubia ever offers a phone with software I'd actually want to use, well, I'll be one of the first in line to review it.
This video was produced featuring two Red Magic 5G review samples provided by Nubia. For transparency, however, Mr. Mobile does not produce product videos paid for by the manufacturers of those products, and Nubia provided no compensation for this coverage, nor was it given copy approval or an early preview of this video. And uh, if transparent phones are your thing, well, there's a fun video coming that you'll really appreciate on my When Phones Were Fun series. Please subscribe to the Mr. Mobile on YouTube so you don't miss it. Until next time, thanks for watching, and if you can't stay at home, then at least stay safe, and please wear a mask while you stay mobile, my friends.